we have the race here right now. You started right in the and outside lane. Yeah. Tell us what right. you see so, as it goes. So as I was going out, I felt Miguel and Aaron on my side, and then I saw Miguel in front, and I felt him slow down a little bit. So I was like, let me just take it, right? So then, so then I took it. I was going. I was in the lead. In the Did lead. you want to be on the outside? Yeah, honestly, because. I thought like having the rail would be like would make me a little too like comfortable. So I thought being on the outside would be would be better for me. Do you see 26 out when yeah, you cross? Yeah, I saw I, I heard 26 when I crossed and I was like, oh man, I can't. I, I, I was like, I can't, I can't, I can't like get comfortable at this. I have to, I have to keep on going harder. So over here, I just kept, I just kept my stride. I quickened my arms. I was this going. This guy was closing. You have such a good yeah, stride. I, <laughs> I, I feel like you might run 147, 146 pretty soon. Hopefully, hopefully. <laughs> So then I came through. I couldn't see the time, and then I and then I saw the time when I crossed. It was at 52. I was like, yes. But then it was over here. I said, now, now, now I have to keep the pace going because because if I slowed on on the 1300, everyone's gonna come and catch me. Yeah, you so saw then, that they started coming a little bit, and you you put your head down and you went. Yeah, I was like, I was like, I was like, now is the time where I had to where I have to continue running fast. So then I came. I was running. I was running, and then I come onto the last onto onto the 50. I start. This is where I start to like really hold my. Or I start to like hold my form, and then like pick it up. We I worked on this in training. I did like I, I made sure my form was was more like a hunter form, and then I and then I like ex and, and I extended my stride. So then I was going, and then I, I looked up at the board. I saw him coming. So I was like, oh man, this is I, was, I was scared. I was scared. I was like, I was like, this guy's actually just like, like on my shoulder. And so then this is where I really started to push, and then and then I started to grit over here, and then over here I was just I was just. I was pumping my arms, pumping them. I saw 147 and 148. I was as I was crossing. I was like, no way, I just did that. <laughs> I crossed. I was like, no way, I just did that. And the celebration with the tape, so fun. It was crazy. I felt I felt so happy when I when I won and I came through in 148. Is this the biggest win of your career? For certain, the big the biggest one, the biggest PR. That's the time I've ran overall over my over my whole PR in any race I've ever ran. This is a this is a race that I'm the, that I'm the most proud of. And what do you do now? Like, how do you? Wh where do you go from here? At this point, I think I might try for the uh, for for the outdoor record. There you go. Well, you know, a lot of men have tried. A yeah, lot of a, a, a lot of people tried. Hustle record, but it's crazy. I, I know it's going to be super hard, but if I just if I just did what I did here, but 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 in like but in better fitness and with better like, and with better and on an outdoor track, I think I think I could do it sometime in like maybe June. I think. Are you a senior? Yeah, I'm a senior. Where are we going? next year. Georgetown. Oh, very wow. good. They've had a few good 800 runners. Yeah, there. they have.